subject is engineering mathematics 3 in that uh, the first unit is linear differential equations with constant coefficients now uh, what is the uh, actual concept of linear differential equations with constant coefficients the general form of nth order linear differential equation with constant coefficient is a naught nth derivative of y with respect to x dn y by dx raised to n plus a2 dn minus 1y by dx raised to n minus 1 and so on up to a n y is equal to f of x where that a naught is not equal to 0 where a naught a1 a2 a3 up to n are all constants and f of x is any function of x only now we want the solution of this differential equation it is linear differential equation with constant coefficients it is linear because the degree of every term is one throughout and it is the nth order differential equation because the highest order derivative term is here dny by dx restraint so its order is n but its degree is one throughout so it is linear differential equation with constant coefficients now how to find a solution for this differential equation so first we have to reduce it to reduce the differential equation we uh, use the substitution put d by dx is equal to d d square by dx square is equal to d square and so on and so that we can reduce the differential equation like this a naught d raised to n y plus a 1 d raised to n minus 1 y plus a 2 d raised to n minus 1 a, sorry a 2 d raised to n minus 2 y plus up to and so on is equal to f of x now that y is common in every term so take it common and after taking y common we have the term like this that bracket term is nothing but the uh, expression in the form of d means it is a uh, polyne it is a function of d into y is equal to f of x and this bracket term is function of d so we can write or replace the bracket term by phi of d because it is the function of d into y is equal to f of x so here phi of d is equal to 0 is known as auxiliary equation this uh, expression phi of d if, if we equate it equal to 0 it is an equation and it is nothing but the equation called auxiliary equation equation now the system sorry the solution of the equation 1 so see, what is our equation 1 equation 1 means phi of d into y is equal to f of x this is the reduced form of lde and we are going to find the solution for this equation now the solution of equation 1 equation 1 involves two parts complementary function as well as particular integral so the general solution is nothing but y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral it gives the complete solution of the uh, linear differential equation with constant coefficients so complementary now uh, the general solution is given by two parts complementary function and particular integral in that complementary function now what is complementary function the complementary function is the general solution of the homogeneous linear differential equation phi of d into y is equal to zero here the reduced form of LD is phi of d into y is equal to f of x uh, for a while you assume that this function is 0 and we have the equation phi of d into y is equal to 0 so we are going to find a solution for phi of d into y is equal to 0 and this solution will give you the complementary function in a complementary function the number of an arbitrary constants is equal to the order of the differential equation depending upon the nature of the roots of auxiliary equation there are many types of complementary function is given below there are different cases means how to write the complementary function uh, it depends on the uh, roots of the auxiliary equation 
auxiliary equation is nothing but phi of d is equal to here we have uh, mentioned what is uh, auxiliary equation in this reduced form phi of d into y is equal to f of x if phi of d is equal to 0 then it is known as auxiliary equation so you find the roots of this equation phi of d is equal to 0 and its roots uh, of auxiliary equation they are main uh, means that roots of the equation it gives the complementary function now there are different cases to write the complementary function that first case is that type 1 case 1 is suppose for that nth order linear differential equation with constant coefficient suppose n number of roots are there m1 m2 m3 up to mn are the roots or and they all are distinct roots real and distinct they are real numbers and they are distinct roots then the complementary function for that uh, linear differential equation phi of d into y is equal to 0 it will be c1 e raised to m1x plus c2 e raised to m2x plus c3 e raised to m3x so on up plus cn e raised to mnx because there are n number of roots and they all are real numbers and distinct distinct means different and so its complementary function is like this now the second case is case 2 if d is equal to m1 m2 m3 these up to mn are the n number of roots and in that m n number of roots suppose two roots are equal m1 is equal to m2 and the remaining roots are real and distinct then the complementary function is c1 plus c2x bracket complete to e raised to m1x plus c3 e raised to m3x plus up to cn e raised to mnx means from c3 the remaining terms like the first case case 1 and only two roots are equal m1 is equal to m2 so there is the change here in first term c1 plus c2x because two roots are equal that's why the change is here in case 2 if d is equal to m1 m2 m3 up to mn these are the roots for the differential equation because it is the nth order differential equation this is case 3 and suppose three roots are equal m1 is equal to m2 is equal to m3 and the remaining roots are real and distinct they are real numbers and they are distinct means different then the complementary function is c1 plus c2x plus c3x square into e raised to m1x plus c4 e raised to m4x up to cn e raised to mnx so this is case 3 case 4 again if d is equal to m1 m2 m3 up to mn these are the n number of roots for the given linear differential equation with constant coefficient and the order of the differential equation is n and then and then that uh, auxiliary equation has n number of roots and in that n number of roots suppose all roots are equal m1 is equal to m2 is equal to m3 is equal to mn and they are real numbers they all they all are equal and suppose they all are equal means there is a single root and the root is repeating n times and it is a real root then how to write the complementary function then the complementary function is c1 plus c2x plus c3x square up to cn x raised to n minus 1 bracket complete into e raised to m1 x here i am writing m1 because m1 is equal to m2 is equal to m3 they all are real roots so here you can write m1 or m2 or m3 m mn because uh, they all are equal means there is a single root and it is repeating n times so this is the complementary function when they all roots when all roots are equal now type 2 the second type when uh, if roots are complex and distinct means suppose the uh, differential equation is of order 2 so the differential equation it has two roots and that roots are complex roots like this d is equal to alpha plus minus i beta you know the complex roots always occur in pairs so now there are here complex roots are there so there are uh, there is a pair it means there are two roots alpha plus i beta and second root is alpha minus i beta now complementary function for this alpha plus minus i beta it is here in complex roots alpha is the real part of complex number and beta is the imaginary part of 
complex number so the complementary function for this uh, for these complex roots is e raised to alpha x in bracket c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x this is the complementary function when the complex roots are there for the differential equation if roots are complex and repeated suppose the differential equation is of order 4 and the auxiliary equation has four roots and that four roots in that four roots that complex roots are repeating it means d is equal to alpha plus minus i beta is repeating repeated twice means alpha plus i beta is two times and alpha minus i beta is two times then how to write the complementary function then it is e raised to alpha x in bracket c1 plus c2 x bracket completes cos beta x plus c3 plus c4 x bracket complete into sin beta x like this the case one here two roots are equal so we write the term c1 plus c2 x into e raised to m1 x like this here two complex roots are repeating uh, complex roots always occur in pairs means uh, complex roots are repeated means there are four roots alpha plus i beta two times alpha minus i beta two times and so the term is c1 plus c2 x cos beta x plus c3 plus c4 x sin beta x this term is because the complex roots are repeated twice here and so this is the second type in second type also there are two cases case one and case two so these are the rules to find the complementary function now there is one note if your auxiliary equation is a quadratic equation in the form of ad square plus bd plus c is equal to 0 it is a quadratic equation because its degree is 2 so how to find the factors for this quadratic equation this is a auxiliary equation phi of d is equal to 0 quadratic equation then how to find the factors for this quadratic equation the formula is d is equal to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a this is the formula to find the roots of quadratic equation the second note is for the cubic polynomial apply the synthetic division after finding one re real non-zero root now that rules for synthetic division now how to find the uh, roots of polynomial equation by using synthetic division there are these rules are there that first rule if sum of all the coefficients in phi of d is equal to 0 is 0 phi of d is equal to 0 is 0 the sum of all the coefficients in auxiliary equation is 0 then d is equal to 1 is the root this is the first rule second root if sum of alternate coefficients sums of alternate coefficients in phi of d is equal to 0 are equal means if, uh, addition of alternate coefficients in auxiliary equations are equal then d is equal to minus 1 is the root third rule is if d is equal to 1 and d is equal to minus 1 are not the roots then try by the divisors of the last number that is constant term means you see what is the constant term in the auxiliary equation and you try to find the roots by the divisors of the last number that is the option that is the rule third rule that fourth rule is if constant term is absent in phi of d is equal to zero means if constant term is absent in auxiliary equation then d is equal to zero is one root of the auxiliary equation this is the fourth rule and that one oh, important note is here synthetic division method is applicable only for finding real roots so the drawback of synthetic division we can find the real roots only by using synthetic division now the example example is here suppose d cube minus 7d minus 6 is equal to 0 this is a polynomial equation and suppose uh, the a sorry the example is d cube minus 7d minus 6 into y is equal to 0 then here the auxiliary equation is 
d cube plus 0 d square here the term of d square is absent so you write down that term 0 d square minus 7 d minus 6 is equal to 0 is an a is an auxiliary equation here means that is that equation phi of d is equal to 0 is an auxiliary equation then sum of alternates are equal that is sum of alternates are equal here means uh, the coefficient of d cube term is 1 and alternate term is first term after that you uh, think about the coefficient of third term first term coefficient is 1 and third term coefficient is minus 7 so addition of 1 and minus 7 is minus 6 okay now you consider second term and then fourth term alternate of second is 4 so the coefficient of second term is 0 and coefficient of uh, fourth term is minus 6 so addition of 0 and minus 6 is minus 6 so addition of alternate terms are equal first and third term coefficients addition is minus 6 second and fourth term coefficients addition is minus 6 means alter sum of alternate terms coefficients are equal that is minus 6 thus d is equal to minus 1 is one of the root of phi of d is equal to 0 means one of the root of this this is phi of d is equal to 0 its root is one of the root is minus 1 because of this rule that sum sum of alternate coefficients in phi of d is equal to phi of d is equal to 0 are equal then d is equal to minus 1 is the root we are using this rule here and so one of the root is d is equal to minus 1 so by synthetic division uh, now you perform actual synthetic division you write down the coefficients of polynomial the coefficient of d cube is 1 so write here 1 coefficient of d square is 0 so you write here 0 coefficient of the term d is minus 7 so write here minus 7 constant of minus 6 here d square term is absent uh, still we have written the term uh, using the coefficient 0 so if any term is absent in the polynomial then you write the term with the coefficient 0 uh, like this example so the, uh, we have written all the coefficients here now you take one first coefficient as it is 1 now one of the root here is minus 1 d is equal to minus 1 is one of the root so you write here minus 1 so this 1 into this minus 1 the multiplication of these two is minus 1 so you write here minus 1 now the addition of these two is 2 minus 1 plus 0 is minus 1 so you write here minus 1 again the multiplication of the minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1 so write here plus 1 so addition of these two minus 7 plus 1 is 6 sorry minus 7 plus 1 is minus 6 so right here minus 6 then multiplication of these two minus 6 into minus 1 is 6 so right here 6 and then addition of minus 6 plus 6 is 0 so he, this is the remainder remainder is 0 means this considered number is a factor okay so minus 1 is one of the factor now the degree of the uh, polynomial is here 3 and one of the root of this polynomial is minus 1 so you reduce the degree by 1 so how to write it factor is minus 1 so you write d plus 1 minus 1 is factor so write d plus 1 and then uh, the second term these are the coefficients for second term now the degree of the equation is reduced by 1 so degree of the equation is now 2 and so the coefficient of d square is 1 coefficient of d is minus 1 and this is the constant term and so the equation is here d square minus d minus 6 and one of the coefficient minus 1 so one of the factor d plus 1 and so equate the term equal to 0 so uh, the factors for d square minus d minus 6 is equal to 0 this is a quadratic equation you know how to find the factors for quadratic equation this is the formula uh, to find the roots of the quadratic equation using this formula you find out the roots for this for for this equation d square minus d minus 6 is equal to 0 and the factors are d minus 3 d plus 2 because minus 3 plus 2 addition is minus 1 and the multiplication is minus 6 so these are the factors d plus 1 d minus 3 d plus 2 is equal to 0 and if uh, equal to 0 it means it gives d is equal to minus 1 
minus 2 and 3 are the roots now there are three roots and they all are real numbers and distinct different so its complementary function is c1 e raised to minus x plus c2 e raised to minus 2x plus c3 e raised to 3x for every factor you write the separate term because they all are real numbers and they are different distinct so there are three different terms now the order of the differential equation is three because this is auxiliary equation is degrees three it means the differential um, equation is of order three why because we have discussed the nth order differential equation here the order of the differential equation is n here so we have this bracket term c it is the polynomial expression of degree n when the order of the differential equation is n then we have the polynomial of degree n and this polynomial bracket term is your phi of d so phi of d is equal to zero is an auxiliary equation so the degree of this uh, auxiliary equation is equal to the order of the differential equation here and that's why here here there are three factors because the degree of the differential uh, degree of the polynomial is 3 and degree of polynomial is 3 it means it is a differential equation of order 3 so it has three factors and so it contains three arbitrary constants c1 c2 c3 the number of arbitrary constants is equal to the order of differential equation so this criteria is fulfilled here this is the example this is one more example d cube plus 7d square plus 16d plus 10 into y is equal to 0. So uh, it's, uh, you can uh, try for this example. So factors are minus 1, minus 3, plus minus i. You can uh, try to solve it by using the same method, synthetic division. And you will get your answer. And this is for the complementary function. Uh, if the uh, polynomial is in this form d raised to 4 minus a raised to 4 is equal to 0 uh, then the factors for this uh, polynomial uh, is, the factors are here yeah, you can uh, write the factors of d raised to 4 minus a raised to 4 as d square minus a square d square plus a square the formula a square minus b square is a plus b a minus b like that the factors are here d square minus a square d square plus a square is equal to zero again the factors of d square minus a square is d plus a d minus a and the factors of d square plus a square d square plus a square is equal to zero it means d square is equal to minus a square square is a negative number so the uh, factors for d square plus a square are fact complex roots so their roots are plus minus i a and the factors for d square minus a square are d plus a d minus a means at once plus a then minus a and the factors for this uh, quadratic equation d square plus a square complex roots plus minus i a so there are four roots a minus a plus i a minus i a and so the complementary function is c1 e raised to ax plus c2 e raised to minus x these are the real roots, first two real roots. So write the complementary function for first two real roots. And remaining two are the complex roots. Here plus minus ia means alpha, your real part of the complex number is 0. So write down e raised to 0 x bracket c3. You start from c3 because c1, c2 is already there. Start from c3. c3 cos 4 sin ax. So this is the complementary function for the four roots. Two roots are real numbers and the remaining two are complex roots. And this is for... So here uh, the concept of complementary function is over. Thank you.